Hello and welcome to this video where I will be doing another wildlife pond clean. There'll be some planting. At the minute there's no plants in there at all. Um, there are tadpoles and I believe there are some newts in there. Um, so I will be going through the leaf debris and putting the, um, the wildlife into a bucket like you saw me doing a previous um, pond clean video and then putting all the uh, leaf debris and sludge on the side onto a sheet so anything then can crawl back in um, that I've missed. Um, the gentleman here sadly had a stroke about two or three years ago. I was been speaking to his wife when I came around to look at this job a few weeks ago. And uh, the pond used to be his pride and joy. It's not been touched in about three years. So basically, uh, good deep clean. Say so take care of all the wildlife, put them to one side, uh, drain out most of the water. I'm going to keep some of the water uh, and then I will be re-topping it up. Um, and I'll be doing some planting, creating some pockets, using some rocks and some river gravel, because at the minute there's no plants in there at all. So I will be putting in a water lily in a basket, and then I've got some marshmallow golds, I've got some rushes, um, I've got a white pickerel, and they're just going to be planted straight into the substrate that I'm creating, just to draw the nutrients out of the water a bit better, uh, rather than putting them in horrible plastic pots. Um, this is one of those ponds, unfortunately, where the liner is all exposed around the sides, obviously one that I didn't create, but um, you know, I can't change that sadly, but I will do my best with regards to planting and uh, giving it a good clean for them. So let's go in there. Um, I believe the gentleman is quite interested, so he may appear on the video by accident uh, in a couple of places, bless him, but I think he's quite interested to um, be out there with me watching what I do and see what I find in the pond, which is absolutely fine. It's his pond, his pride and joy. And uh, yeah, it's, 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 let's go and have a look. So here is the pond, as you can see we've got an amount of um, floating duckweed there, the water's quite greenish, um, got lots of exposed liner sadly, um, I can't do anything about that, as you know it's a bit of a pet hate of mine, but what I can do is create some planting pockets, as you saw in a previous video where um, on these sloped shelves here I can get some rocks in, fill them with some uh, river gravel and plant directly into them, which is going to benefit the water quality in the uh, in the pond was going to take the nitrates directly out of the water I've also got some hornwort which is a floating oxygenating plant which is going to help as well um, as you might have seen there there are some tadpoles in here so I'll be a bit careful not to uh, harm anything that's in here um, other than that we'll give it a clean get some plants in there I've got a water lily basket and water lily to go in there as well um, which should help again once the pads come up a bit of cover a bit of shade um, and again more um, plants in there taking nitrates out of the water, which is what causes the algae. And one of the many newts that I've rescued from this pond into a temporary home and he'll be going back in. Look at him looking at the camera. <laughs> Beautiful. This little fella on the side here, almost a fully developed little frog. It's quite 
quite a few in there actually that have um, almost lost their tails, ready to become froglets. So yeah, fantastic amount of um, wildlife in here. In this, not the biggest pond, but hell of a lot. See them all in there. Probably about six or seven newts I've had, plus all of the uh, tadpoles and froglets and little um, pond skippers and boatmen that we've had in there. Brilliant, and we'll be going back in very shortly. Okay, so now I'm gonna plant up this water lily that I have here. I've been been kept nice and wet in that pot of water the other aquatic plants. I'm just gonna pop that there a second. So what I do first is that I got my basket. Now water lilies are the only plant I like to plant in the basket, mostly because their roots are quite invasive. Um, everything else I like to either plant into soil, which obviously I can't do here, or into gravel pockets, which is what I'm going to create here for the reeds, the marshmallow golds and the white pickle. So because it's going to have soil in it, we put some hessian in. What this does is, is allow water to pass through, but it stops the soil washing out. So, just run get some around the sides, around the bottom, and we'll be all good. aquatic soil so I'll put, a, put that in the bottom and as you've seen me do before I also like to add some speed growing growth balls and I'll put a couple of these at different levels so I'll put some in the deeper section here when the roots um, do start developing they'll find those at the bottom and I'll put some more soil and then a couple more of the growth balls where the actual roots are going now and all that is is a slow release food fertilizer for the um, for the water lily As you know, I hate plastic baskets and ponds. I hate seeing liner, but when it's water lilies, they're deeper out the way. It's not so much of a problem, and it's a necessary evil for, yeah, I say evil's a bit of a strong word, um, for water lilies, I say, just because their roots really start exploring. So if you can contain them in a basket within the Hessian, it's a good idea. All right. More there. Obviously we've got the stems where the leaves and the flowers are going to be coming to this side. The root system is down here. Right. Make sure he's in the right way. More soil from the new bag. And then what you see me do before is cover this top of the soil with some cobbles which I have just washed this sort of helps normally in a fish pond this stops the uh, the fish going down and nibbling at the roots which they like to do but it also stops the soil floating away once it becomes submerged in water also it's a little bit of habitat as well the little tadpoles and 
little critters down there can hide themselves away under under these edges of these cobbles plus it just helps naturalize the look of this basket if you're looking in when the water's clear you're not seeing too much apart from the lily and the soil trying to disguise the edges of this basket best we can leaving room for the roots and the stems and the leaves I should say to come up and start finding their way to the surface in a couple of months. That should probably do it. So pond's all done, up to level. As you can see, we've got the rushes planted over there. We've got a marsh marigold over there, another marsh marigold and a pickle, white pickle over there. As you may or may not see, you can see all the tadpoles enjoying the new clean water. Um, as well as being a, a good substrate to plant these plants in, um, where I've got this uh, river gravel and these rocks, it's also good habitat because obviously there's a bit of underhang on these rocks here that the um, poles can hide under and also the newts and also it gives them there's three places now where when they do want to leave the pond it's a lot easier for them whereas before they had these sort of you know the rubber liner side straight up to an overhang of rock very difficult so now well, we've got this shingle that's half submerged coming out the water um, makes it a lot easier for them to get in and out which is good and also gives them some shallower banks which they'll really like when the sun does shine <laughs> doesn't feel like it's going to at the minute. Um, they'll like these shallower areas because obviously the water will be warmer. So you can see, a lot easier to see them as well against this gravel when they're swimming around um, rather than, you know, against the uh, the black rubber that you see. But yeah, quite a good healthy population in here and they've all gone back in. The newts and the tadpoles, considering it's not the largest pond, um, Hell of a lot in there, which is fantastic. Customer's really happy. So we've got the hornwort, the oxygenating plant floating in the middle. The lily will start showing itself in a couple of months, I'd imagine. So that needs time to grow. It's got those fertilizer balls in there. What's it these tadpoles? So yeah. Lovely. So that wraps up another project. Um, hope you've liked what you've seen. Customer's very happy. If you'd like anything like this doing for your pond with, or even whether you want a pond creating fish pond wildlife pond water feature waterfall that's what i do i'm based down here on the south coast of hampshire in a little village called stubbington but i will travel um yeah pond maintenance pond cleaning pond creation uh anything to do with creating these lovely habitats for wildlife as we've just seen so yeah that's this one done see you on the next one